it gives you both the look and feel of leather, but it also opens up new manufacturing possibilities. The multi-billion dollar leather industry has roots deep in many businesses, from clothing to accessories to furniture. But imagine if that industry was free of using animal hides, with an end product as though it still did. New Jersey-based startup Modern Meadow is trying to make that a reality by literally growing leather through a process they call biofabrication. Can you describe what biofabrication is and how Modern Meadow uses it? It's a brand new technology that enables us to grow the building blocks of nature using a cell that we design and engineer ourselves. And then in this instance, that cell is producing collagen for us. So collagen is the protein that you find in your skin or in an animal skin. And it's really the fundamental uh, material that, that comprises leather. So you have this biofabricated material. What are all the different ways that it can be used? We like to think of it as, as like a growing a tree where each branch is a different piece of that technology. So can we apply leather as a veneer? Can we spray it? Can we, you know, can we coat it? Can we use leather to join other materials? We still want it to have some of that same aesthetic, you know, the look, the feel, the smell. But what if it could form completely new shapes and new types of products? So if you're thinking about a shoe or a handbag or a jacket or whatever it may be, it enables you to radically rethink it. So this has kind of shattered my illusions about the smell of leather. How are you able to get this to, to smell like a piece of traditional leather? So the smell of leather actually doesn't come from the animal itself. It comes from the chemical tanning process. So we also do a tanning process and therefore you know, the material still has that scent of leather even though it doesn't come from the animal. Why target leather in particular? Leather is a great opportunity because it's such a huge market opportunity. So leather itself is a $100 billion raw material market and it's got such a difficult supply chain. So you know, livestock is such a big problem for the world. We have so many cows that we're raising to, to feed the globe, and that can't really continue to scale as it is. Today, you know, a lot of the luxury brands are really becoming more vertically integrated, all the way back almost to the farm in order to secure their supply of quality hides. So there's a huge opportunity, I think, to provide a consistent raw material supply. And there are other competitors, I suppose, or leather alternatives. What is different about what Modern Meadow is doing? If you were to look at our material under a microscope, the structure of it would be very much the same as an actual animal hide. Um, no one else can really do that. They're using building blocks that are synthetic, as you're saying, basically plastics. Pleather and all of the synthetic leathers, it's not at all sustainable, it's not recyclable, it's certainly not biodegradable. So we're a million miles away from that. This t-shirt was the first major public unveiling of Modern Meadows' work, which was recently on display at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. As for commercial production, the company is in talks with several brands with plans to launch its first product this year.